Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is about HIT. So today we are going to discuss what is HIT, how it is different than our steady state cardio and our regular interval workout. So let's talk about steady state cardio. Steady state cardio is something like you just get up and you start walking at a moderate pace and you continue doing so at the same speed, at the same intensity for like 15-20 minutes or even longer like 30 minutes or 1 hour or even for 2 hours. But you know that doing a workout like steady state cardio does not show you any improvement at your physical fitness level or even at your mental fitness level. So you do not find any significant change or improvement with steady state cardio. Next comes our interval workout. Interval workout is something where we are working out at a higher intensity for a specified period for that is called a workout interval and then it is followed by a rest interval where we are giving rest to our heart, to our body, to our muscle for a specified period. So workout interval could be something like 40 seconds or 1 minute and a rest interval will be something like 20 seconds or 30 seconds. It depends. But it is quite beneficial and quite effective. In interval workout, we mostly bring our heart rate up for like 70 to 80% of a maximum heart rate. And then rest interval gives us some rest. Again, we can continue the same and repeat it. But today's video is about HIT. What is HIT and how it is different and how it is beneficial. HIT consists of a high intensity interval followed by a recovery interval. So if we are talking about HIIT cardio during this high intensity interval, we will be running at the maximum speed at the maximum intensity and we will be achieving the maximum heart rate it will be something almost like 90 to 95 percent of our maximum heart rate so because we are doing this at the maximum intensity achieving the maximum heart rate we will be able to continue this for hardly 15 to 20 seconds so if you are able to continue more than 20 seconds, then it is not a hit workout because you cannot do that. Okay, so it's important to understand that the high intensity workout can be continued for maximum 15 to 20 seconds only. By then you will be drained off. So if I'm doing a hit cardio on a treadmill, the high intensity interval will be like the maximum speed I can do. So high intensity interval means maximum intensity, maximum heart rate and we will be able to do this for around 15 to 20 seconds only. Now next comes our recovery interval. Recovery interval is the duration where we will be bringing the heart rate down to the moderate pace. So if we are doing a highest intensity for 15 to 20 seconds, the recovery interval will last for around three times, almost like three times of our high intensity interval. If high intensity interval lasts for 20 seconds, then the recovery interval will last for 60 seconds or maybe slightly more than that because this recovery interval is the time we are trying to bring down the heart rate at moderate pace and we know that after this we are not going to take any rest instead we are going to again repeat the high intensity interval so that's how the recovery intervals are much longer than our high intensity interval. So both are important and we are continuously active and we are not taking any rest during this HIIT workout. So if you are going to do HIIT workout or HIIT cardio for 10 minutes, you are not going to take any rest in between. That is HIIT. So if by any chance, if you are doing a head workout and you are doing okay high intensity exercise for ex, high intensity exercise followed by a rest, that's not hit. It has to be high intensity exercise 
followed by a low intensity exercise during the recovery interval so if we are doing a hit cardio on treadmill during the high intensity exercise we will be sprinting or we will be running at the maximum speed and then during the low intensity or during the recovery interval we will be jogging at the slow speed so here on the treadmill i will be running for the high intensity exercise or for the high intensity so for this hit cardio on the treadmill for the high intensity interval i am sprinting at the speed of 12 because that's the highest speed i can have on my treadmill and then for the recovery interval i am jogging at the speed of 7 so that's quite moderate very comfortable for me at the speed of 7 i can be running continuously for 15 20 seconds or 20 minutes so that's not a problem so that means it's a very comfortable and moderate pace for me you that's what is important so speed high intensity speed and the low intensity speed are different for each of us what we have to see is that the high intensity interval should be the maximum intensity for me the low intensity interval or the recovery interval should be the comfortable pace or should be the comfortable intensity for me when i am doing this so when it comes to you if you prefer walking then you can be doing hit with a walk also what you will do is for the high intensity interval you will be walking at a really fast pace and for the low intensity interval or for the recovery interval you will be walking slowly moderately comfortably so that's how all of us can do hit workout or hit cardio based on our level based on our intensity or our fitness level and one more thing about hit workout is that every time you are reaching to the maximum heart rate though the interval is short like 20 seconds or 15 seconds but it is a maximum intensity so that is why you will not be able to do hit workout for more than 15 or 20 minutes obviously because in between you are not taking rest you are continuously active and in between you are reaching to your maximum intensity so a hit workout cannot last longer than 20 minutes even 15 minutes are more than enough even 10 minutes are more than enough if you do it really well but if you are able to do this for more than 20 minutes that means you are not reaching to your maximum intensity and that's where you really need to focus that to achieve the maximum intensity you can have that's the most important thing about hit workout why we need to do hit what is the importance of hit is let me tell you that one thing is we are continuously active during this period and every time we are bringing the heart rate down then we are bringing the heart rate up again bringing down bringing up bringing down bringing up so there is a quite good fluctuation of your heart rate and that also improves your cardiovascular health and most important is it helps you to burn maximum calories in the shortest interval that's the that's the main advantage i would say advantages of hit is you will be able to burn maximum calories in a shortest interval second thing because of the heart rate fluctuation it also improves your cardiovascular health just to understand it better let me show you a hit cardio on my treadmill so let's come on the treadmill and for the first 5 minutes i'm going to spend for my warm up make sure that you warm up really well before your hit workout because you're going to achieve your maximum intensity so before that your muscles your joints should be warm enough there should be good blood flow around your body your joints and your muscles so that you do not get any injury so first 5 minutes for a good warm up first minute i will be doing walking at the speed of 4 and then second minute i will start jogging at the speed of 6 but very comfortable and slow jogging continue this for the second minute third minute onwards i will be continuing jogging at the same speed but i am also going to stretch my upper body my shoulders my upper back my chest my neck 
so we need to uh, warm up my the upper body muscles as well so let's do so after that third minute i am continuing the same jogging and then fourth minute i will be jogging at the higher pace at higher intensity that is 8 kilometers and then fifth minute onwards i know that my body is warm enough and now i am ready for my high intensity intervals so, so from the fifth minute onwards i will start my hit training that is for a short interval or for the hit interval sprinting at the maximum speed so here it is 12 so from fifth minute for 25 seconds i will be running at the high speed that is 12 kilometers per hour now it is 25 seconds because the treadmill takes some time to increase the speed it takes around four to five seconds so that's why i have i'm doing it for 25 seconds but when you are doing it on the in the garden or outside where you are not on the treadmill then you make sure that you do it for 20 seconds only or even less than that is fine if you are tired before 20 seconds it's really good that means you have really achieved your high intensity high intensity interval or high intensity training at 12 followed by a comfortable jogging at moderate pace that is at the speed of 7 and the, at the speed of 7 it's really comfortable for me because I can continue doing this for around 20 minutes also it will just feel me boring it will not I will not be feeling so tired so at the speed of 7 it's really moderate and comfortable for me so I'll continue doing this for around one or one and a half minutes because I want to make sure that before my next hit interval my heart rate comes down to moderate level and I should gain back my some strength some energy so that again when it comes to next hit interval i'm prepared to go high to achieve my highest interval so that's how i have to repeat this for around four or five times and when we are doing hit cardio doing four or five sprints of 20 seconds are more than enough because we know it's not just sprint it is also followed by a recovery interval and that is long enough where we are continuously working so spending 10 to 15 minutes for a hit cardio is more than enough and it will be a really good and intense hit workout for you because you will be burning maximum calories in the shortest possible interval it will help you to tone your body also to improve your cardiovascular health Make sure that after this 10 to 15 minutes of HIIT interval training, you spend a good enough time to stretch your whole body because you were working really hard, you were achieving the maximum intensity. So that's how it's really important to stretch yourself well so that not to have sore muscles after this. And please do include this in your regular workout regime. And Please share your experience with me in the comment section. I'm sure if you include this weekly this once or twice, you will be cardio. able to see significant so changes in your body well at the physical level and also at your mental fitness level. Please share your experience with me in the comment section. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye-bye.